Brains or brawn? That's long been the dividing line in the world of robotics. Cutesy toys designed to entertain or connect emotionally with humans versus industrial giants tirelessly serving heavy industry. Now a San Francisco startup is looking for a new way, replacing steel and motors with fabrics and air. We're a new robotics company that is focused on building a new class of robots that are lighter, safer, and more mobile than anything that have been, has been uh, invented before. Industrial robots are made from stiff and heavy materials, so running into one is like being hit by a car. That's why they've been stuck in factory cages. Nubonics makes a robotic arm that has no hard skeleton and is made mostly out of fabric you find in backpack straps. The big advantages of using inflatable robots over traditional servo-driven robots are that you can build a sense of touch and a, a sense of interaction into the robot at a material level. What's also surprising is that pound for pound, inflatables are stronger than their metal counterparts. A typical factory robot is five to ten times heavier than the load it can lift. This prototype can already lift more than its own weight. Hello. I am Baymax. Disney gives a sneak preview of a flexible robot future in Big Hero 6. Its protagonist is a lovable, huggable healthcare robot named Baymax. I will scan you for injuries. Don't scan me. Scan complete. Unbelievable. The character was inspired by a real-life prototype developed by Carnegie Mellon University. You're going to help people do things like comb their hair or brush their teeth or feed them or, or dress them or undress them or clean them. There's just no way you can get a big heavy robot up close to someone safely. A robot like Baymax is still science fiction, but inflatables are coming soon. Nubotics hopes to launch its first product as early as next year.